Hey everybody, it's Thorfinn here, and today I wanted to show you guys how to play Sova on Ascent. The first thing you're going to need to do, line up the screen box with this wall, aim down here below this, two bounces, full charge. This is probably the most important shock down on this map, and it's really the only one I'm going to show you um, that's like an actual lineup. Basically what it does is it breaks the alarm bar, right? If they try to put it deeper, then you can always just shock dart it again. But that's the that's the main goal here. A second sort of shock dart that I recommend is you come here close, you aim here, and you one bounce full charge. Oh, you one bounce like one charge, basically. There we go. So this hits that right. Another shock dart you can do is just through here. You can and it shocks lane, hopefully breaking some alarm bots and stuff like that. Um, now the thing is though is uh, basically kind of like my census is you don't always want to throw um, the shock dart here right you kind of want to do it on certain rounds um, to kind of catch them off guard uh, and if you see anyone make market presence most of the time probably not going to have the alarm bot here and what's going to happen is he's going to have the alarm bot lane it's going to be playing like a bunker setup and then the sova is going to be here uh, just kind of ready to ready to go so Anyways, we're going to go to um, just kind of how you should shoot your recon, right? Basic recon, just right here, right? Dart spot on mid, pretty simple. Uh, you can kind of do this. It's kind of like a, a field sort of thing. Um, so it's slightly different than the perfect one. Um, I don't have the perfect one where it lands right here. I don't have that. Um, but, you know, doing this and things like that, um, is always pretty good. Uh, shooting it right here as well is pretty good um, from top mid, but it's kind of, you know, difficult to do that because you're going to be revealing yourself. But if you want to late clear it and you know that he's not going to swing you, what the? There we go. You can throw it on the little pizza logo here. So, um, towards A, uh, you're going to kind of want to know. So this, you just... One bar, pretty nice start. Another dart you can do, you can go here, you aim your armor bar in this, one bar it. This is mainly for close. Um, this is like the traditional one that's been used forever, but you aim here, you one bar, boom. As well as you can always just come here right there it's pretty good another dart that you can do as well um that is kind of like essentially what you do right is you use this dart if you're trying to push this aiming guy back towards tree or you're trying to push him back towards site instantly off the round right so this could be with like a ko flash into main this could be with like an omen blind here what you do is you aim at the top of this and you full charge and it drops and hits the crane um, this scans like all of this area, uh, essentially making it so where the guy who's fighting a main, if he escapes this way, you tag him, right? So if your jet dashes on him and tries to take the spam, it's pretty good. As well as like, um, if you just have someone, uh, just ready to go, right? Uh, to just spam this guy as well as it makes it really hard for that guy to like try to pop through this smoke. Um, if it's like the KO or something like that. But if it's not the KO, uh, then you probably know that he's going to be playing towards tree. Uh, so, you know, pretty good info dart. Um, another dart that I like to use here. I think it's one bounce full charge. Yeah. Pretty nice dart. Scans basically everything. Um, another dart you can do is I aim like... Oh. There we go. And a little bit more to the left. Bounces here. But again, you can also just do the traditional dart. Boom, throw it off the tree. Boom, throw it off this back wall. Another one, you throw it off the giraffe. 
which is really good. Not a lot of people break this giraffe one um, because you know not a lot of people use it to be honest. Another thing that you can do um, is if you're on uh, attack, you have an Odin, you just walk up here, spam this guy, push him off lane. Uh, another thing that I don't think a lot of people realize you can do um, is you can aim low. So if you aim low, you can actually potentially break like alarm bots and nano swarms on lane, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, now we're gonna go uh, to kind of what I think you should do on um, defense. So here's like the main one, right? You just jump up, boom, shoot the crane. Pretty simple. Uh, there's also another one where like you go back here, you aim like this, and then. Is it two charges? I think it's just full charge actually. It's not full charge, it's two charge on. Some shit. Yeah, it's two charge, so boom. And it hits that crane. Like shooting it onto these two are the big ones uh, for the retake. Uh, as well as just like, again, a lot of Sova darts, you can kind of just like do them normally. Um, one thing that I like to do is do this. And the reason why is basically if you do this, right? Or you throw the shock dart and then you immediately throw the arrow right after. They can usually confuse it for a shock dart trying to kill that guy. Um, so if they don't shoot it, free spam. Um, if you're on the cap position and they're flooding you, uh, you just shoot right here. It doesn't look like it scans, but trust me, it does. So if they're trying to flood cat on you, you just spam them super easy. Uh, if they're coming B, the main dart that you want to throw is this dart because it just never gets broken. Aim right here. I actually aim like right here too. This one is like a little bit more out, um, but you know, just aiming it like this. Usually pretty good and it scans. One thing that's like super important is if they throw the smoke and they try to come close and they get tagged, you can basically just and immediately kill that guy, uh, which is super important. Um, on the retake, personally, like you throw the dart here, you can throw the dart here, stuff like that, right? Um, as well as like, I think it's this. It's been a long time since I put so, but yeah. So it's like that. Um, nice little dart. Also, if you just sit here, wait for the smoke to come out, they dash out, or hit like this. Right, that goes to, to this as well. So, what you can do is basically you can shoot the dart right here as they're coming out. You got Noden. Spam. Right. Uh, another sort of spot that I like to throw it is I like to throw it here. The reason why I like to throw it here is because if they're coming like this, right? Like they can't see, they just can't see exactly where the dart is. So they have to sort of come out wide. And because it makes them come out wide, you can hold like this angle on them to break it. So it pushes them off uh, even further. And if it does that and they sit there just winning at the dart, you can sort of throw shocks at them. Um... Yeah, that, that's pretty much it, to be honest, uh, when it comes to the darts that I use. Uh, obviously, there are darts that can come in from, like, you know, uh, literally outer space, right? Um, and, you know, can help your teammates. Uh, but I, I personally find that most of the time the way that setups work on this map is that I usually just don't find myself having to do that because, you know, um, if I wanted to, I do this, you know, it's two, and two charge, dart flies. I fucked that up.
go here. I think it, yeah. It's too charged. There you go. I am even a little bit too high, but yeah. So throwing that dart is pretty good. Um, but if you're coming from A and you're rotating, there's really nothing you can do. Uh, you can kind of do this, which is like super hard to hit. Um, I've done it before, but it's it's kind of impossible. There are obviously like you can find lineups for that, but personally, I just don't think it's that usable. Most of the time, if you're playing on B, you're sitting here supporting your your guy who's bunkered backside by throwing these darts, right? Um, and most of the time you're not playing a, a lot of the times you're playing a, you're playing for a trap setup. So you're basically just playing for your ultimate, right? So you have your alt, you sit here, you wait. If you hear them hit the orb, you rip your alt, you know, you have a bit like a very decently condensed lane or what I think you should do is you should make presents like this where you throw an omen smoke dart. Boom, you just go for this because if they try to come in, in again, you just rip your alts, right? Um, spots that I think you should drone from, uh, pretty soon, I'm not going to show you the path thing, but here's a good drone spot, here's a good drone spot, here, um, here, you have to, if you're going to drone out beam in, do it behind this box. The reason why I say that is because if he's close with an Odin, he will try to counter spam you if your teammates aren't ready to just trade. So if you're doing a drone for info, or actually just a normal drone in general, to be honest, I recommend doing this so you can get spammed. Um, droning from A is pretty easy because you just can't get spammed. It's really going to matter. Um, like droning from here is pretty good. Uh, droning from the top of this is also really good, personally. Like if you jump, personally, I like jumping up here. Um, just because you boom like you're super high in the air already first that's what i like to do uh when i site execute if i just want to like clear the a main space and like retake it late round i'll just do this right because you're just trying to get wine that's like the only point um you can also dart wine too which i think is pretty good personally i think like Kind of how you utilize Sova on this map is Sova is usually going to be like the third guy in, right? He's going to be like the post plant guy on A site. And then on B site, he's usually going to be the last guy in because he's just throwing uh, utility. Um, it's more important to isolate um, where people are on B than it is on A. So like the way A is like designed, it's pretty cramped, right? Like... They can be in these close angles, but you clear that with an initial jet dash. And then the only thing you have to do is like, you can molly this, you can molly this, you can molly that. Um, and the big thing is hell. So a lot of the times it's pretty decently easy to just sort of like slam this site with utility and full execute onto it uh, and just take it. Um, Cause it, you know, it's decently hard to anchor. That, that's kind of why you see omens sit hell a lot of the time. The reason why they sit hell and not anywhere else is because it's just the only position you can't easily molly because any molly that you throw is going to have to be like facing the choke, which is kind of scary because, you know, the guy hell has the sense that you're doing that and he'll just swing and try to kill you. Um, and then also uh, Omen can TP to Jenny or he can, you know, TP into hell um, after playing Jenny. So you're going to see a lot of people prioritizing this hell position on the Omen. Um, but yeah, so most of the time you could probably get away with not using a Sova dart on a site, even though Sova dart always helps. But, uh, on this site, you definitely need a Sova dart because just by clearing like this and that, the only place that they can be is boat. So you just have to have like, um, a clear thought process on how you're going to clear back boat. Like when you take the bomb site. Like, you should always just kind of find your own way of how you'd want to clear boat, right? If you want to clear boat like this, where you sort of take it pretty slow, right? And you just sit here, you jig a lot of angles, and you don't, like, overcommit to a fight. That's a pretty good way. If you want to just sort of speed blitz the guy, jit, like, throw a flash and death dash on him, that's fine, too. If you want to just flood this guy with utility, just jiggle, slam him with util, and just you know get as much chip damage as possible and then just kind of go in with a classic like fair enough if you want to just buy an odin and then you want to 
I could throw a KO Flash and then a Sova Dart, so he's full bind, and then you just fucking spam him. Either way is fine. You just kind of need to have like the a proper game plan to clear that out. Otherwise, it's fucked. Um, in like the in like collegiate and like tier three, uh, you kind of notice that is no one really has a plan to clear out this backside guy. As well as when motherfuckers don't hit with the Sova Dart, right? If they don't dart or like they dart super early. Sometimes it's okay to just come out here and just take like a gamble because most of the time like People will throw this super late sova dart like super early sova dart, right? And they really won't understand like oh This guy can fucking move right so oh he's back boat and they call it and then they you know Just all focus on back bow and then you're sitting here triple you wait for them to come out wide lane you hear them drop and then you just go womp womp and then there you go you get to, like uh, at least a free kill um that's what you can have sometimes as well as like waiting for the dart coming out here swinging is good like swinging out of this market smoke like isn't like terrible you just have to like really find the right time and you have to kind of understand like how they path right like if the jet is just gonna fucking solo path out um run stairs you could always just behind the smoke especially if they don't throw the smoke completely flush which some motherfuckers don't you can kind of get a cheeky little boop, kill the guy and sort of swing um yeah so i'm gonna talk about playing like a so personally i think if you're playing a with sova you play towards cat the reason why is you play for a fast retake or the ability to just hit a main with um your alt right so if, if you know that they're five stacked a main um basically what you should do is you and your teammate walk cat your teammate holds your cat and then you just alt through um or you know if you want to do like an alt like a like a play what you do is you omen blind and, and then you rip your so vault uh one way that you can do this is by like just hucking a dart on the omen blind and you rip your ultimate right um also pointing towards uh cat and tree you can do this right which is really big not a lot of people will ever fucking shoot that nor know that it can even scan you um doing this like i said with like a flash or an omen smoke so you can just spam tiles and insta push people off that uh info it also works really well if you just throw a ko flash here uh, push this guy off tiles and you smoke top mid because then they have to re-clear all of this mid space if they're intelligent um, If they're not and they don't use anything to clear it and they just use their bodies Then you combo that with like a jet walking up to here or walking to fridge or something like that But uh, yeah, that's kind of the basis of Sova on this map uh, pretty simple um, Most of the other darts that you're going to want to use are pretty simple and not something that I'm gonna really need to show you So I'm pretty confident that you guys um have enough Sova knowledge to dominate on this map. I mean, he's always been really good. And until they change how wall bangs work on this map, he's always going to be really good. Um, it's just he has the hardest recon uh, utility to break. Um, just use an Odin on this map. And uh, yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, enjoy this in your ranked games, in your scrims, or whatever. Um, and I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Peace.